What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's daily Skyrim video I thought I would show you guys another, yes that's right, another 5 unique enchanted weapons and enchanted armors in Skyrim. If you missed the previous 2 videos make sure you go and check them out down below in the description. But if you guys want me to show you another 5 hidden unique weapons, if this video gets enough likes I'll definitely be making another one. You will be able to find any of these unique weapons at level 1 though. So let's start off this list with number 5, because this first unique piece of armour is very useful at a low level when you're starting out. So to get this piece of armour, you're going to want to come east from Whiterun to White River Watch, which is located just here on the map. And obviously we can access this place really early on in the game. Once you do reach this location though, just kill the bandits outside. Everybody you find here will be a very low level bandit, so it should be pretty easy for you to dispatch them all. Once they're all dead, we're just going to head on inside this cave. Just continue through the cave and keep killing all these low level bandits, there are quite a few here including two mages. If you have any difficulty you can watch my location walkthrough for this area, which also shows you all the treasure chests and where to get them. You can find that down below in the description if you're interested. Pretty soon though you should reach the exit to the White Hold Overlook. This is where you'll find the bandit chief Hadvar Ironhand, the leader of the gang we just slaughtered. Be sure to finish him off too. He may be wearing full steel armour or full Nordic armour which can make him quite hard to kill. But if you just bring a follower with you or just hop on the rocks he'll go down pretty easily. I'm just pelting him with magical crossbow bolts which ignore his armour. If you guys want to know how to get these crossbow bolts, make sure you check out the guide below in the description. But a pretty good strategy here is just to wait until he aims his bow and then fire a crossbow at him and it will make him flinch so he won't be able to fire at you, as you can see in the video. So after he's dead we're just going to loot his corpse and also don't forget to loot this boss chest as well. But the bandit leader will have the unique iron hand gauntlets and they give you a 15% boost to your two handed attacks. And unlike most unique armours in Skyrim you can actually go ahead and disenchant them to learn this enchantment for yourself, making it the best and the easiest way to learn the two handed enchantment early on. For example we can disenchant it and then we can put it on the rest of our armour. Next up on this list we have number 4 and in this spot I have a unique weapon to show you guys and to acquire this weapon we must come over here on the map, west from Windhelm, to the dwarven ruin of Radvar, just here on the map because let's be honest I just butchered that name. You can access the dungeon from the north side of the mountain by just climbing up these stone stairs here. Once you're at the threshold of the ruin you'll find a few mediocre bandits to dispatch. Once again they're pretty low level so you shouldn't have too much difficulty here. The location though is absolutely huge, it's a massive dungeon. But don't worry because you don't even need to go beyond the first area to obtain this unique weapon. Once the bandits are dead just leave their corpses to the frost and go inside. There are two ways to actually get to the bandit leader Alain who wields this unique weapon. When you enter you're going to want to kill the orc bandits sleeping on the left here. Just head straight down over this flame trap and you'll find a shortcut to the bandit boss. The only thing is that it will have a leveled lock on this dwarven door here. So you can just pick this lock and I'm going to do it for your entertainment. But alternatively you can just head round to the left in a circle and you can kill all the other bandits to reach the area on the other side of this door that I'm picking. Once you have unlocked the door though the funniest way and easiest way to kill these bandits is to sneak around to the right like this and just go up these like wooden stairs. And you'll find two ballistae loaded with explosive bolts. So pull this lever here and literally just decimate the bandits. 
For some reason though, I did no damage, so I'm just going to go ahead and kill them like some casual gamer. Once Elaine Dufont is dead though, you can actually loot his corpse for the unique two-handed weapon, Eggspade. It's a unique iron warhammer with a base damage of 18, so it pairs quite well with the iron hand gauntlets because it gives you another 15% damage on top of that. It makes targets take 5 points of frost damage to their health and stamina. So it's not the most powerful weapon on this list and it's actually not very good at later levels. But nonetheless, it's one you're going to want to add to your unique weapons collection. Next up in this list, at number 3, we have another unique weapon. So to find this guys, you're going to want to come here on the map to Hag's End, which is located here, southwest from Solitude. And it's kind of in the middle of the mountains, it's quite a tricky sort of location to get to. Once you do reach the area though, you're going to need to work your way to the top of these rocky cliffs. And if you guys do want a full walkthrough for this location and like how to get there and everything and how to like work through it and all the treasure chests for it, check out my video down below in the description because once again, it's a pretty big location. So what you need to do is just work your way through the ruin all the way to the top of the stone temple. Once here, you'll find a door to Hag's End. So just head on inside when you're here. I'll walk you through this section of the dungeon. So first you're just going to come across a dining room with a couple of mages and a hag. I suggest just going for a sneak attack on the hag first because she's the most powerful of the bunch. Once she's dead, just head through into the next area. And before somebody asks, if you want to know where to get the Emperor's bodyguard armor I'm wearing, it's kind of like a rare set of armor and there's only a few of them in the game. I've made a guide already on how to get it down below in the description. So after we've dispatched the enemies in the throne room, we're just going to pull this lever to lower the bridge. So carry on across the bridge and down the corridor and you'll come to another lever in the wall here. Just use it to open the door. Take care though because as each door opens some steel spikes will like come out of the wall and try to skewer you. I'm just going to tank them because I'm an orc and orcs take spears to the face. So once you do get through take care of the next two mages and hag in the next area. I forgot that they were even there so I didn't even sneak attack them. But after you have dispatched them guys, just go ahead and pull this chain in the middle of the room. And that will open the next door for you. Once you go into the next room, there's a shout on the wall over here, so make sure you don't miss it. It's one of the slow time shout words of power. My favourite shout in the game. And if you watch my Archer Assassins build, you will see why. Because it's pretty epic. And now guys, we're just going to exit out of the door onto the top of Hag's End. You will emerge onto this amazing view overlooking the whole of Skyrim. Make sure you also take out that hag just ahead of you. But right in front of you, just in front of that hag we just killed, you will see a stone altar and on that altar you'll find the Bloodthorn Dagger, a unique steel blade that is actually really useful at low levels. This dagger actually has two enchantments, but one of them is a secret and it's not shown in the game. So firstly, it has a soul trap enchantment. This means that if you kill a target with this dagger, it will fill the empty soul gems that you have in your inventory. So it's a very early way to get the soul trap enchantment. But the dagger also has another unique hidden enchantment. It actually absorbs 10 health from your enemies with every hit. This makes it pretty damn powerful because it gives the dagger a base damage of 50, more than a Dragonbone Dagger. And obviously because it's absorb health, it ignores your opponent's armor. And because the daggers attack very fast, it's quite easy to heal yourself very quickly in combat. So a solid dagger for a low level character and an assassin who are dual wielding. But next on the list, we have number two, and probably the most well hidden piece of armor in the whole of Skyrim because there's literally no reason whatsoever that you would ever want to come to this location and pick it up. It's literally right next to you. You're already at Hag's End and you've already reached the end of this location, but there's a very well hidden secret 
just to the right of the altar where you picked up Bloodthorn. So just to get across here, you can either use the Whirlwind Sprint Shout or you can do what I'm doing here and just jump over the rocky cliffs like this. If you just start here and keep jumping, you can get up to the top here. Near that waterfall, there's a secret boss chest with some unique armor. The Boots of the Predator's Grace can be found on the floor next to this boss chest just here. So these boots have a unique enchantment on them that you cannot learn, nor can you disenchant. It firstly muffles your movements, making you almost undetectable, kind of like the shrouded assassin armor that assassins use. But in addition to this, it also has the extra buff and it gives you a 1% faster stamina regeneration. Do not underestimate this because it's actually really useful. Usually our stamina regenerates very very slowly while in combat, but while wearing these boots, you'll find that you can actually power bash more often with a shield, and also power attack as well, because you only need one stamina to power attack or bash someone with your shield. So these boots allow you to power attack or bash someone at least once per second during combat. Just try it out and you'll see the difference. But this leads me onto our final unique armor in today's list, number one. And to get this unique armor, you must come here on the map to Alftund. It's southwest from Winterholt, just here on the map. You actually visit this location during the main quest line in Skyrim. And it's a rather large dungeon, so I'm not going to walk you through the whole thing in this video. But if you do want that full walkthrough, once again, just check it out down below in the description. If you work your way through the dungeon, you'll eventually come to a large room with lots of dwarven mechanics. We're just going to need to pull this lever to open the first gate. But do take care because there are quite a few Falmer around. So once you've dispatched them, we're going to proceed through this gate and head up the steps here. There is going to be a Dwarven Centurion here who's going to try and beat the crap out of you. So make sure that you time your bash attack so you can make him flinch so he's not able to actually attack you. As you can see, like I'm doing in the video. Once you've defeated him, we're going to go to the final gate and enter sneak mode. You'll now see two adventurers. Just wait for them to fight and kill one another. So, let's just get out of here. Hasn't there been enough death? Uh, of course you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back, so you can have all the glory for yourself. Is someone there? Hello? Who's there? Yeah. Uh, I've been wounded worse by better! I guess it's all clear now. You can now finish off the last remaining foe with a swift hammer blow to the skull. Get wrecked. The male Imperial will have an Imperial Sword of Fear, but what we are actually really after is the female's unique shield, the Targ of the Blooded. A shield that makes your enemies bleed for free damage for 5 seconds, so that's 15 damage in total. It's one of the best shields for bash attacks in the game, especially if you're using the boots of the Predator's Grace with them, because then you can bash attack even more. In fact, I have a guide in the description on how you can make your character have unlimited stamina. This allows you to repeatedly stun your enemies and just make them bleed to death. But anyway guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon next to it if you haven't already. This will ensure that you never miss my latest Skyrim videos that I put out on my channel. You can also find the links for my Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter down below in the description for the latest Skyrim news. But thanks very much for watching me ESO and I will see you loyal subscriber in the next Skyrim video guide. So have a fantastic day and goodbye.